guys. We're trying to accommodate you. <laughs> we do our best. This is one of my favorites. We've got Frankenfoods, which have been all the rage in recent years. We've got the Krona, the ramen yes. burger, and the donut ice cream sandwich, which just sounds amazing right now. But finally, we found a combination that makes sense. This makes sense. Uh, this does make sense. It makes sense to you. <laughs> it isn't crazy, but it's certainly pretty cool. Might make your next ice cream party a bit more interesting and lively. To find out, let's head to Insomnia Kitchen with ABC's mm -hmm. Tina Trip. So this year, I resolved to drink less wine and eat less ice cream. But no one said anything about wine ice cream. Sounds like a dream, but it's the real creation of Mercer's Dairy in upstate New York. As far as we know, the only ones in the world making it. I met with the owner at Williamsburg Creamery in Brooklyn to find out if this delectable idea was everything I hoped it would be. We pair uh, different kinds of wines with, with an ice cream base and come up with a uh, ice cream that you have to be 21 to buy. Flavors like port, Riesling, and raspberry Chardonnay. The ice cream winning awards worldwide. We have a trade secret on how we do it. Okay, but basically the ice cream is just a white or a chocolate base. There's no other flavoring in the base. Like the Riesling has nothing in it but Riesling. There's no vanilla. There's no anything else. There's no making it taste like wine. It is a wine. We came up with a way to make the ice cream, preserve the alcohol, get the high butter fat to freeze. Okay, well, what's wine without a tasting? You want to try some Riesling? And then we have peach zin, raspberry chardonnay, some port. As I worked my way through, each flavor popped. The taste of wine was unmistakable. And the convenience of it all. You can't carry a glass of wine down the street, but you certainly can have an ice cream cone any place you'd like. Mm -hmm. I've had a good idea. I'll drink, um, make that lick to that. Tina Trin, ABC News, New York. I was told I get one bite. Who ever takes one bite of ice cream? Yeah, you're up to three now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm a little buzzed. No, I'm what? just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. But she was um, buzzed before we started. It has nothing to do with the ice cream. This spice wine <laughs> is really good, FYI. Does it taste like wine? It's, it tastes more spiced. It's more dessert -y. The Riesling. I can't really taste the Riesling. This ain't bad, though. Maybe you should have another bite. <laughs>